Well, hey guys. Well, today we're talking about how I make and edit panoramas in, in Lightroom. Whatever, let's just do it. Hey guys, so we're here in Lightroom. Um, we're in the develop tab and we've got our pictures that we want to uh, create a panorama out of. Um, so this one I've just grabbed a few pictures from uh, some shots I took in uh, downtown Vancouver in beautiful BC, Granville Island. And you know, by themselves they're nothing special. Uh, but we, when we put them together it can make something really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting the first one, clicking on it, and then holding shift and then clicking on all three or as many as you want to do. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go up to photo merge and then panorama. I'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a preview and there's a few different options that we can choose from um, to, to select a projection type. And there's three kinds. There's perspective which is um, typically as if you were looking um, at the picture as it was printed on uh, a flat surface. So great for straight lines, great for um, architecture, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, cylindrical and spherical, um, you're going to get a quite a bit of distortion in that. And what that's doing is it's um, basically representing it as if it's um, on the inside of a sphere or a cylinder. So depending on the look you're going to go for, spherical, you can. Uh, it's pretty good for making uh, 360 panos. Um, these two are really good for really wide things gives you that uh, sense of uh, dimension. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll choose two just to show you some difference. I'll go with uh, cylindrical and I'll go with perspective. Um, and there's this crop feature as well. I've turned auto on and you, you don't have to, but um, if you don't, it looks something like this. It's taking the three pictures and it's gonna give you an area um, that's usable and you can play with that. I don't know why you wouldn't just have auto crop on, but uh, in this case, we'll just turn it on and go ahead and, and merge those together. So there we go. They've gone ahead and um, just generated just to the right of our original photos. So if I click on the first one, this is going to be our spherical one. Um, and it looks pretty good. Uh, Lightroom has gone ahead and done some adjustments for us just to compensate for the exposure of the three images. And the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go all the way down to um, profile correction in lens correction and I'm going to turn those on along with the chromatic aberration and that's going to allow me to fix any changes in, in distortion for my lens um, and any brightness um, corrections as well so I don't have to edit that later. I do that right away. Um, from there I'm going to go up and I'm just going to make a quick S curve just to kind of give it some um, some of that contrast and then we'll just make a few edits maybe give it a bit of color maybe open those shadows up on the bridge a little bit maybe take down the highlights just a little it's looking pretty good now I noticed on the left there those buildings are a bit a little bit blown out so what I'll do is I'll grab my adjustment brush and I'll just take it down just a little bit to try and get some of that detail back Maybe some of the boats there too. Perfect. And that might be a little bit much for me. But maybe this wall a bit. And just a really fast edit, guys. I might just bring a little bit of that back. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. And, um, from the distortion here, I've noticed that these buildings on the left and maybe the bridge on the right, they're not quite straight anymore. They've kind of got this bow to them um, or, or a bit of an angle and that kind of bugs me. So um, one thing you can do in that situation is go all the way down um, to the transform area and just this vertical um, transformation bar, this is going to allow you to compensate for that distortion. And, and kind of straighten out your image. So I've kind of corrected that a little bit and that looks a bit better for me. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. 
straighten out the bridge right here on the sides um, that looks pretty good so if we look at the other one quick this is going to be our perspective one you can see now um, really cool lines but the, the the ends here are quite um, distorted so uh, again I can I can go ahead and I'll do my profile corrections first uh, real quick and then I'll um, see if I can't make a difference to that vertical um, and it's gonna kill a little bit of my the size of my picture oh, that looks alright but it is gonna distort it a little bit more um, so for this one I might even crop in a little bit try and get rid of some of that distortion um, I like that bridge there and I'm not a big fan of the sides so maybe I might look at something like that so yeah a little bit more detail in this one and then same thing again maybe grab that adjustment brush and maybe just bring down the the highlights and you feel if your cursor is a bit too small you can use your bracket left and bracket right to make it bigger and smaller and I'll just do a quick little brush here of everything that just looks a little bit too bright for me perfect and that looks pretty good too there's a couple examples of just uh, how you can do a panoramic quickly a couple edits and and, and you know make it look kind of nice and here's a before and here's an after of uh, of this guy this is the perspective and here's our our cylindrical or uh, spherical I can't remember what I picked but um, I hope that helped and I hope that was easy for you guys to understand so we'll leave it at that hey guys thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did consider maybe Give me a subscribe and a like. Drop your comments and questions down below. And of course, you know, as always, make mistakes, be yourself. Get out there and take some pictures. See you in the next one.